So I'll try to try to complete this. I'll tell you after the class is over. Preparation which I have done was it is Hoffman and Bromo, don't write. Hoffman and Bromo am I? Method. Or call Hoffman degradation. And they have mentioned that if you have taken any primary amide and treat it with a cold solution of sodium hydroxide and bromine, that it gives you a corresponding primary amide which con contains one carbon less than the original amide. That is, this it goes out, and you get here sodium bromide, sodium carbonate, and two is okay. So accordingly, you can prepare aliphatic and aromatic amide. But I, this mechanism is not in your syllabus, but I'm doing only for your entrance exam. Now, this portion will be right. Let me first explain, then you are going to apply mechanism. See, when you go to P block, you will find the alkali means sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, they react with halogen at two different conditions to give you two different types of products. If you react it with cold solute, cold and dilute solution, in that case you will get sodium hydroxide bromine it will give you NaOBr and NaBr plus H2O. This I have done in iodoform reaction. This is called sodium hypobromite Te. See. This is also a salt, this is also a salt. I see very interesting. When you have taken sodium bromide, this dissociates to give you Na plus and Br minus. But when you have taken sodium hypobromide, it's very interesting. You get this. Br plus, you get it? <coughs> So here you get bromide, and here you get here yeah, bromonium ion. Okay, so you please write this first step, then I'll rub it, then I'll write here. From start from here, up to this much you write. Hmm.
Have you returned? No, wait, sir. Sir, it's sodium hypobromide MITE, sir. Yes. Then, sir. So now, second step. You'll find here now R C O N H. Look, this carbonyl group is there now, so it is pulling electron. So by that way, nitrogen hydrogen bond become highly polar. So this hydrogen develops a positive charge. What is going to happen now here? See here, we know it breaks down to give you NO minus, and it gives you Br plus. So, in this case, see here, this, it picks up this hydrogen, becomes sodium hydroxide, this hydrogen goes out at H plus. And immediately, to maintain the valency of nitrogen, it picks up this. So, what do you get now here? 
This is very interesting thing in here. Plus, sodium hydroxide. See, here bromine is on nitrogen. Because of that, we call it N bromo Mi. So it forms in the reaction. This is intermediate. This is intermediate. This is not stable. Inter forms an intermediate. Don't like step. In this reaction, we have added plenty of sodium hydroxide, and the reaction also produces sodium hydroxide. See, this is a unit of acid is there, HBr. And this is the base. So acid and base is going to react that we have seen even halo alkene also. So what is going to happen now? It goes. A molecule of HBr is eliminated, H plus and Br minus. It's very interesting thing. If this bond has two electrons, hydrogen has gone out as H plus, so both the electrons remain with the nitrogen. Bromine is, <coughs> is an electronegative element. So bromine goes as Br minus. In this bond, you have an electron of nitrogen and bromine. If only bromine atom would have been gone, then we have written as Br. But it's going out as Br minor. That is, it has taken the electron of nitrogen also. So what you are going to get, a very interesting situation you are going to get it here. See here. This is the original lone pair of nitrogen. This lone pair, you got it by the breaking of nitrogen hydrogen bond. All right? So what you should do right now? Sodium hydroxide plus HBr is NaBr H2. Now see here. How many electrons are in this nitrogen, around nitrogen? In this bond, two, plus two, plus two, six, plus two, eight. How many are there? Six. Okay? This class of intermediate is called nitrine. Is called nitric. So let me draw. <clears throat> let me draw its orbital structure. See here. See, this orbital is empty. This is orbital is empty. So, this nitrogen is extremely electrophilic. To immediately it wants to get back to its octet state. Extremely electrophilic. All right. And what is the structure here? The, I think looking at this, you can find out what is the structure. It is sp2. Okay. And this is called singlet nitrine. This is only for your entrance exam. Singlet nitrine. Singlet nitrine. This is not in your syllabus, but you require for your entrance exam. Please stop.
Okay, so now <clears throat> so as the nitrogen is having income directed, so what is going to happen? See here now. Yeah, see. It will undergo rearrangement. See, this orbital is empty. So this R, alkyl group or aryl group. Here two electrons are there. So this R will go with both the electrons to this side. When it goes, then it has taken the electron of carbon also. So in that case, what is going to happen? The carbon is going to develop a positive charge. So in that case, nitrogen will donate one of its electron to carbon. So what you are going to get, see here now, nitrogen is bonded, earlier is bonded to carbon, now it is bonded to nitrogen. See now, this nitrogen is given, the electron is from double bond, and carbon was already having a double bond with oxygen. Look. By this rearrangement, the octet is being retained for all the elements in the molecule. Okay, this is a special type of rearrangement that is important for you for you to understand. See, this compound is called isocyanate. So now we have learned what are the intermediates formed in this Hoffman bromoamide reaction. First one is N bromoamide because we cannot isolate it. What is the second intermediate? The second intermediate is nitrine. What is the third intermediate? Is the isocyanate. Now, isocyanate is an extremely reactive molecule. It will immediately react with water because the reaction is done in aqueous media. Now you have <coughs> double bond on both sides. So which side the electron is going to move? Oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen. It will go to this side. So you get now here R, N, C. Okay. This the one of the edge will go here. H, N. H. Now, I told you a carbon which is having more than one of hydroxyl group is not stable. So in this case, what will happen? Immediately the hydrogen will shift here. It will undergo keto enol totomarita. Don't get scared by hearing this type of words. So here you get this is called this is a carboxylic acid. Okay. This is called carbamic acid. So you get another intermediate for carbamic acid. Ultimately, what is going to happen? See, <clears throat> this is this is not that stable. So this is going to break, and this carbon nitrogen bond will break, and this will take up this H plus ion. So what we are going to get now? 
Corona, CO2. Now, carbon dioxide immediately reacts with alkali. Sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide to form corresponding carbon. So this is step five. Please do not get scared. This is not in your syllabus. I have done only for to help you in entrance exam because we should know how the carbon which is in the middle has gone out. Because carbon which is in the middle by rearrangement, it has gone to the end. And from there, it has gone out in the form of carbon dioxide. But in the reaction, we find it is written in sodium carbonate. We did not add carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide evolved, reacts with the alkali to give you sodium carbonate and water. So after writing this one, you can write, not in syllabus, but for entrance. Okay. So now please do one conversion. Do one conversion, right. Convert benzoic acid to aniline. Convert benzoic acid to aniline. Try for two, three minutes. If you can't tell me, I'll do it. Convert benzoic acid to aniline. When you say, I believe you know the structure. So what is the conversion? Conversion is this one. Now you should be mature enough to do all, do all this. Everything cannot be spoon fed there. Ah. Do. time has gone. I have not I started till now. Yes, sir. Okay. How did you do? Conversions, you need not balance. So what we are going to write now here, we have to write like this.
see this is the primary MID. Okay. Then it's very good, right? NaOH Br2. Cold and dried. Finish. Anyone who did not write, please write. Done. Hmm? Today class has become very slow. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Oh. So now we'll do another important method, which is there in your syllabus. It is called. Gabriel Helimai. Mm -hmm. Look at the spelling. We start with P. Mm -hmm. Helimai. Synthesis. C. Don't die. This acid is called. Thalic acid. We already done carboxylic acid. If you react it with ammonia, then you get from there thalimide. In carboxylic acid, if you have forgot, please look at the copy. You will find we have already prepared this one by reaction of thalic acid with ammonia. This is called Gabriel. This is called thalimide. It's not amide because nitrogen is linked to two carbonyl groups. In that case, spelling is I M I D, not A M I D. <clears throat> okay. This thalimide is being treated with potassium hydroxide. Look, this nitrogen is bonded to two strong electron withdrawing carbonyl group. That makes this nitrogen extremely polar nitrogen hydrogen bond. This hydrogen becomes extremely acidic. What is going to happen? Immediately we find is going to pick up. So what you will get now here? Never get scared by mechanism because mechanism is a silent expression of interpretation of chemistry mm -hmm. without words see you've got we know acid and base to give to give a salt and water so this is the salt you get thalimide salt okay plus water so you call this one potassium Thalimide. Okay. This potassium thalimide, to that potassium thalimide, mm -hmm. we add alkyl halide, not aryl halide. I'll tell you why not aryl halide. Mm -hmm. Please never feel that you are not able to meet me. So I'm not able to explain. I'm going to explain everything. See, it can be chloride, bromide, or iodide. R can be anything. It can be hydrogen or any other. Product. So, see, we know it undergoes nucleophilic substitution reaction. 
So what is going to happen? You will go out. So you are going to get here. See here, alkyl group is on nitrogen. So you know what to write. You have to write here N alkyl thalamide. N alkyl thalamide. So this is step one, step two. All right. Now. We'll boil this one. To that, we'll add. We'll boil it because this one is not soluble in water. So we'll dissolve it in methanol. Okay. Containing a lot of water. It will undergo hydrolysis. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen? See here. One molecule of water will attack here, and then molecule of water will attack here. And that's the what is going to happen? This will break. Huh. This one, just for understanding, when you write, don't write. Huh. Exam, don't write like this. What you will get now here? You will get here. Telic And here, you will get. R C H two and H two. Okay, see here. I'll write like this. See, which will come here? H will come here. O H will come here. H will go. You will get this. R C H two and H two. So you can prepare primary. Right, after that, we'll write a few steps. Good mm -hmm. day.
Finish. Yes, sir. Okay. Then back. Right. First, we'll write the question, right? Why is Aromatic primary amines. Cannot be prepared by Gabriel Thelemide Why is aromatic primary amines cannot be prepared by Gabriel Thelemide synthetic method? Okay, then right. Primary anomatic means cannot be prepared by this method. Because the Carbon halogen bond, right? Like this, because the carbon halogen bond in halogenes have partial double bond character. Due to resonance and do not undergo not do not does not undergo nucleophilic substitution. to form primary to form primary aromatic amines Yes. 
So it will not form like this. Then how can you get a means? Okay, so you don't have to write anything. Only write this portion. This is when often this question comes in all the boards. Right here, potassium telemide. And here you will write, hello, Erin. Hmm? Hello, are you sleeping? Yes, hmm. Then you should tell. Already today's class has become so slow. I just see here. Now I'm going to do some reactions which is not in your book, but is important for our entrance exam. I'm going to prepare some mm -hmm. primary uh, by other methods. Okay. So this is not in your syllabus. Well, <clears throat> so I don't know. I forgot this. You know the serial order of your uh, reaction. I totally forgot. Okay. Right now here. Yeah. Form from oxide. <laughs> What is an oxygen to you know very well that suppose I have taken here aldehyde and if I have reacted with hydroxylamine, you require catalytic amount of acid, then you will get here. Sorry. You get here. This. Okay. This is called L-doxide. Hmm. Oxide of an aldehyde is called L-doxide. And name of this class is L-doxide. And the name of this compound is acetaldehyde oxide. Acetaldehyde oxide. Anyway, forget about this. So similarly, if I have reacted with ketone, my videos are becoming very long. I think it may feel bore, boring. I only because for the entrance exam. Otherwise, I could have gone for shortcut. So I feel that you need not again spend time and money for your. Whatever I know is not that I know everything about organic chemistry. It would be unwise to sell like this. 
I'm not selling myself. And I hate it. Acetone and acetone. I never used to do tuition on it. I do not like. But as the condition of the teaching in different school has deteriorated, so I thought is my I should help something. Is the acetone exam? Okay. This is called keto exam. Yeah. Class is keto exam. And the here, as because you made from acetone, so we'll call it acetone also. Now. So what we are going to do? Then I'm going to do right here. Mm -hmm. Reduction of oxymes with lithium aluminium hydride gives corresponding primary. Okay, so if I have taken this, I've shown you how to do reaction with sodium borohydride and lithium hydride. We do not write in hydrogen here because it does not give us hydrogen, it gives us H minus I. So we will not write it. We are not full, we know how to do it. Lithium aluminum hydride, you'll find this is a very interesting thing. Lithium aluminum hydride, all the preparation that you have done. Everywhere lithium aluminum hydride is there. So, in your exam, if any preparation comes, close your eye and write lithium aluminum hydride. Two, followed by water. Water is two, because it forms a complex of oh, aluminum. So, if you add water, the complex breaks and you get here. See. CH3. This will be CH2 and this will be NH2. So you get here now, ethanamine. If you have done with this, you got to have taken now, acetone exam. So is this lithium, aluminum hydride. So here, here you'll get, it's very interesting. I don't know whether you get interest or not. See here, you get now propan 2 amine. Write down the name. Ethanamine, propan 2 amine. Mm -hmm. Dancer. Good. Mm. See now, in exam, if if question comes, mm -hmm. convert acetaldehyde to ethanamine. So you have to follow. In your board exam, which is not going to come because this is not given in your syllabus, but this is for your for your entrance exam. Okay. Second. I do not know why the, this this exam preparations are not given. Mm. Unnecessary, you are being made crippled. This is a very important preparation, reductive preparation, because you prepare I mean, primary I means industrial. 
deductive emanation of aldehydes and ketones. In this process, aldehydes and ketones are heated with ammonia vapor and hydrogen in presence of nickel under high pressure to obtain corresponding primary means in good yield. That is, you get a good quantity of substance. <coughs> Ammonia reacts with aldehydes and ketones to form corresponding Emits mm. I am I carbonate which is which are subsequently reduced by hydrogen. in presence of nickel at least it is an industrial method of preparation. After finishing, I will you tell. Done, sir. Okay, so I'll show you.
I'll write like this, huh? N H two H. You know, you have learned in earlier on this chapter. What you get now here? You get this. It's got acetaldehyde in acetaldehyde. This is not stable. I told you no. So immediately it undergoes reduction. So hydrogen is added. You get now here yeah? two. And though for that you don't have to do separate reaction. In the reaction itself, you added everything. So you get here ethanamine, you get here propantone. Thanks, sir. Okay. So now we'll do another one. Okay. So we'll write now here from isocyanates. From Iso See, you know what is iso is R and C one. By hydrolysis. See, suppose if I have taken this and if I react it with water in the presence of small amount of acid, this will break, this will go out as carbon dioxide. So you get now here, R and H2 and CO2. Okay? Suppose you have taken here, you 
is called phenyl isosceles. It's a common name. Okay. I present name is mm -hmm. benzene iso. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if I have done this method, what I'll get here? I'll get here N. And I'll get that carbon dioxide. Again. Reduction you can do with reduction of isocyanides with hydrogen, nickel, or lithium. Aluminium hydride gives corresponding N methyl amine. That is, you get secondary amine. This is primary amine, and you will get here. Yeah? Example, suppose I have taken here this, and I do it with <coughs> hydrogen gas in presence of nickel, this bond will be reduced. And here you will get NCS3. You will get here now N methyl N. Mm -hmm. Or if you do lithium hydride, also you will get the same thing. Done, sir. Okay. <clears throat> See, in the 
It means I will send you the PDF one. There I have written again separately the preparation of elephantic amines and aromatic. Ah, please see there. Ah. And uh, one, two, three preparations are not there in your book, aromatic amines. Very few preparations of aromatic amines is given in your textbook. So I'm <coughs> preparation of a uh, two more preparation I'm going to write. Okay. For preparation of aromatic amines. It is So many preparation we have done already. Here I'm writing any one, from Benjamin. From sodium benzene sulfonate. These are all extra. Huh? Please don't think that I'm putting a powder on it. <coughs> when solid sodium. Benzene sulfonate and soda might. What is soda might? Don't get scared. Actually, it's called sodium amide, but short form is called soda might. Is fused, means you have to heat it to melt. Hmm. Heat. Heated to melt. Form. In. So what we do here? This is yes. That's what we end. Okay. So this is <coughs> sodium. Benzene sulfate. Okay, this will take solid, and this is also solid. And we heat it. We will directly get aniline and Na2. So this is what enters. So again, from chlorobenzene. When vapors of chlorobenzene. And ammonia are heated four seventy three. In, in a sealed tube, otherwise ammonia will escape. <clears throat> Under 60 atmosphere, in presence of cuprous oxide, Cu2O. This is catalyst. G 
This is industrial method. Okay. So what I'm going to write now. This plus ammonia CU two O four seventy three sixteen at sixty at most here. It will give you and it's two plus this. Why you have to do such a high pressure? And temperature because we know carbon protein bond is having partial level bond character. Because of that, you could take a catalyst, heat at a high temperature, and under 60 atmosphere. I have done this exhaustive preparation of amines because it is important. Done. Okay. Now I want to tell you something hmm. because I I already told you. First of all, I'm not teaching you in a hurry, though we started very late. And organic chemistry cause is causing you a lot of problem. And because of that, I'm getting going very slow. Okay. And moreover, in this week i have missed two classes so i want to compensate though i'm taking evening classes also evening classes attendance is very very less so uh, can i take a class tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning 